Welcome back to the Famous Room channel. 90 Day Fiancé has become one of the most popular reality television shows in recent times. It follows couples who hardly know each other preparing to marry. The relationships involve one person who is not from the United States being allowed in the country to marry their fiancé after receiving a K-1 visa. This unique situation has helped it stand out from other dating shows and made it remarkably successful. Yet not everything might be what it seems in 90 Day Fiancé. Just like any other reality TV series, there are questions about exactly how real everything in the show is. There are many suspicious details and events that suggest it could be fake or scripted. These are just some of the most problematic moments that have raised eyebrows. Participants sometimes have to reshoot scenes. According to some people who have been on the show, producers often force participants to reshoot scenes. This explains why there are often multiple reaction shots and perfect deliveries from speakers. Certain scenes can even be filmed multiple times to give the editors plenty of material to choose from. So many couples split after the show. While the show still has a pretty good rate in terms of couples staying together after the cameras stop filming, some things still seem suspicious. After all, certain couples have split up almost instantly, living in separate areas. This would suggest that they were never really in love or together in a relationship in the first place. Producers seemingly orchestrate events to make good television. Reality TV shows are infamous for staging events and editing footage in a way to make things look different from how they actually played out. This also seemingly happens in 90 Day Fiancé. Multiple participants have said that producers sometimes manipulate events by asking them to do certain things, like asking for messages. The portrayal of participants are sometimes manipulated. Just like in all reality television, producers seem to portray certain members of the cast differently to how they behave outside of the show. For example, when Chris Thinneman seemingly asked for a message. Lois Mendes has also revealed that the way cast appears on the show can be more fake than real. Some scenes are pre-planned behind the scenes. Certain scenes also look to be pre-planned, as the major players will be grouped together and controversial topics will be brought up in conversation. This has led to accusations that scenes might be pre-planned in advance of filming. Those fears are well-founded, according to several members of the cast, who have explained that is exactly what happens. Participants often have a controversial history. A large proportion of the cast seem to have controversial histories. Several have had criminal records. The likes of Daniel Mullins and Josh Batterson have criminal past for fraud and assault. Meanwhile, Jorge Nava was unable to rent a property on the show due to his stay in prison. This is suspicious, as the producers could do background checks if they wanted. Members of the cast do a lot of promotional work. Former cast members often post social media messages promoting the show or new participants long after they have left. It appears as if they still have some sort of contract with TLC that requires them to remain part of the show in some way. Of course, other cast members are sponsored for promoting products in a way that suggests they are not just ordinary people. The way women have to sit during confessionals during confessionals, female cast members all seem to sit in a very strange and unnatural manner. The position is so strange that it has drawn attention from viewers, as it would be weird if all women on the show were sitting like that out of choice. Former participant Anfisa Arhipchenko revealed that producers make females sit like that. Some cast members appear to be very good actors. Considering 90 Day Fiancé is supposed to be a reality television series, most of the cast seem to be good actors. This has drawn suspicion that some of them may be professional actors. There have been allegations that some were using the show for experience and to raise their profiles. The way participants often don't react to what is being said. Another suspicious detail that indicates that 90 Day Fiancé may be fake is that during particular emotional or controversial moments, couples sometimes do not react. To certain viewers, this suggests that these scenes are not natural. They could instead be scripted and have been filmed multiple times, removing natural reactions through repetition. Cast names occasionally change. One noticeable thing that caused some suspicion involved Chandler and Jorge. 
Viewers noticed that they would often be called different names by their friends and family than the ones they use in the show. A logical conclusion is that they are using fake names. If cast can use fake names, this could mean other aspects are not real, as the participants could be actors. Some participants have been on other reality TV shows. A few of the cast on 90 Day Fiancé may look familiar to viewers. That's because certain individuals featured in the show have previously appeared on other reality television shows. For example, Darcy Silva was a million-dollar matchmaker. This would suggest that they may simply want to be on television rather than being genuinely in love. Certain couples act like they don't belong together. Although it is impossible to judge a couple by their looks or personalities, it does seem like many of the relationships on Nettie Fiancé do not look great. Many of the couples just do not seem to be a good fit. Looking at the likes of Daniel and Mohammed is a perfect example, as he left her almost immediately after they were married and showed no affection towards her. The lack of emotion in some conversations. A complete lack of emotion in many scenes has also drawn suspicion. Sometimes it was Mohammed looking like he did not care at all for Daniel or showing no affection. This could either indicate that scenes were scripted or that the couples were not actually in love and had no great feelings for each other. Chris just letting Dave move in with his fiancée. While it is perfectly acceptable to believe that Chris and David are good friends, it is suspicious that he would just allow him to move in and use his home. Chris knew practically nothing about David's fiancé, and most people would not allow such a stranger to live in their home. It seems more like something organized by producers to create drama.